This morning, uh, as I'm stuck on a station waiting for a train, uh, I'm reading the Daily Telegraph and the front page is dominated by a report that the chairman of Marks and Spencer, uh, just like uh, Mr. Dyson, uh, so, oh, Sir James Dyson, last week, is criticising the government for its absurd plans uh, to um, get by the Northern Ireland Protocol by using labels rather than simple digital technology. It's as if we are going backwards, and my goodness do I understand that going backwards, standing here on the station in the cold, because I, <laughs> because I can only take one particular train which is being delayed, although other trains are going to London. It is mindless, the stupidity and the uh, short-sightedness of our approach to business at this moment. If, if we continue with this uh, petty bureaucracy, then frankly, as a country, we deserve to fail. It's frightening in one sense, it's pathetic in another. You know, for forcing companies to put uh, Northern Ireland only or UK wide labels on produce rather than sort of keying that into the computer system. You know, if you go into a shop, uh, if you go into any supermarket, they can tell you not only whether they stock that particular item, but whether, in fact, another, another store that they run stocks that item just as well. If they don't stock it, another store will, just down the road. Um, and, you know, and yet, and yet the government is proposing sticky labels. This is the technology of the 1970s to sort out a problem that has been created in 2016 by our government. And they haven't got it right. How many years does they have? Six odd years to sort it out and it still fails. It's not a good, it's not a good look, is it?